What's up guys, here's Tony, hope you're doing well. Today we're building a replica of the LSA with a few other LS boards in it. Let's get into it. So the very first thing I'm doing is selecting our V block, 8 cylinders, block materials, aluminum. Splicing for this engine is going to be 6.2 liters or 6,162 cc. We're going to select our push rods after I configure this. So now, like I said, we're going to select our push rods with doing two valves per cylinder, aluminum head, plus 15 quality. So we're going to use a bullet steel crank, lightweight titanium cone rods, forged piston, or money dampener, plus 15 quality. Now I'm not going to use EVT or VVL in this case, we do not have it as an option. I'm going to move on plus 15 quality. We're selecting our turbos, like I said in the beginning of the video. Doing two turbos on this engine, so my power goal for this engine is very simple, 3000. Last horsepower is my power goal. We're gonna keep it sort of normal. That's why it's multi-point EFI. Dual exhaust, no cat, no first muffler. No second muffler, plus 15 quality. Now we can start changing things, like the here up to 2020. Now we can start looking at our stresses as well as our flow. Adjust our RPM slider up to 8,500 RPM as well as adjusting our springs and lifter tension and our cam profile to get us to a sort of choppier cam i don't really want a massive chop with this engine it's not the goal of this engine just to make it sort of nicer sort of streetable that's the goal of this engine now we can start addressing our flow chart problems because there are quite a few of them the first thing we're doing is increasing our intercooler size that's looking good there and we can move to our intake manifold do the same that is looking perfect. Let's see exhaust, we're gonna start adjusting that to get that flowing a lot better. Because if you get air in, you have to get air out. That's the really important part. Selecting our wind scroll setup is gonna be an advantage because we can start really going after power power now. Now we can really start going after our power goal since we have addressed some of the issues. Now I am going to increase the boost on this engine as well as make the turbos bigger, then a little bit smaller on the turbine side of things and then a little bigger on the turbine side of things. Just so I can see where roughly I need to be. Because this engine is a sometimes very finicky to deal with, particularly in this game if you're going after some real power and trying to compare. I'm trying to uh, keep it safe, if you will. By real power, I mean power that is above 1500 to 2000 range. That's roughly your normal range, in my personal opinion. Much more than that becomes unusable in a real drive application. Unless you're doing drag racing and all of that. Then it starts to become, well, useful. Because uh, power is awesome. I think I need to make this engine a little more spooly, so I think I'm gonna use the variable geometry now. It makes it spool a lot earlier, around 3500 RPM to 4000 RPM, that's where it looks like it's starting to spool, so I'm really happy with that. So now I'm just gonna cram in the boost and just go after it, like I said. Come on, we're almost there. There we go. Yeah, we're climbing. We're climbing all day. That's looking good. Very good guys, I would really like to ask you to uh, please do consider to like, share, comment and subscribe because it really helps me out. Thank you very much. Let's get back to the video. So now I think I'm going to start uh, looking at this engine and then we can start painting it. As we're at my power goal, and that's really important. So let's throw some paint on this thing. Keeping it simple. That's really the goal for this engine. Is simple is best and I think I'm going to use some specialty colors here. I'm not going to use an exact color that uh, GM uses, but I'm going to use something that, in my opinion, is close enough. Now I'm going to apply it to the valve covers, the front cover of the block, as well as our intake manifold in this case, meaning our timing cover is going to get it, our, wave, our, excuse me, um, our valve cover is going to get it, our intake manifold is going to get it, as well as our exhaust manifolds are going to get it. The rest I'm just going to leave it the color it is, because I think it looks awesome. Looks like a big banana. I like them bananas. 
And yeah, I'm gonna let you enjoy the rest of this and then I'll pick up when we're done painting. Now, I'm gonna do two pulls of this engine. I'm gonna do one facing the engine as well as one doing towards the calf so that we can visually see how our power figures go through and how hard the manifolds get. So, let's see what she sounds like. I hope it sounds good. beautiful thank you very much for watching and i hope you have yourself a fantastic day see you in the next one